Hey, it's Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. How you doing today? People ask us, uh, you know, would you slow down and be more deliberate with a close-up uh, view of how you use the sharpeners? Well, this is the little round, the little poker chip, okay? It's uh, between a quarter and a 50 cent piece for size. This happens to be about eight years old. I carry it in my pocket. I use it for demos all the time. You'll never use a sharpener as much as I use this one. Uh, this is one of the knives that we just used a little bit ago. It's already sharp, and I'm going to run through how it would look if you're using the poker chip sharpener on a knife. And again, uh, as always, there's two 90-degree corners. One is over there, and one is here. All right, they're just 90, so you got a straight line, a straight line, and a straight line with 90-degree corners. So I'm going to run through, and I'm going to show you how I would hold the poker chip and how I'd hold the knife and what I would do if I was actually going to sharpen with the poker chip sharpener. First of all, I'll hold still this way. All right, it's on the 90-degree corner on the right-hand side there. All right, you can come back this way on the left-hand side on the 90-degree corner. So if you get a little bit talented and you get used to doing this, you can actually go out and flip it over and come back. You can do this, all right, or you just go right out like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold still, and I'm going to show you. We don't run at 90 degrees to the blade. We try to run it anywhere from 25 to 45 degrees like that, and approximately 10 degrees up like this. All right, and now we're in the shade. So we're going to have to try to get around here somehow something like that will just will change like this about 10 degrees up so 10 and 10 is 20 so if you're 10 on this side 10 on this side your inclusive angle both sides together is going to be 20 degrees some people are going to say it should be 22 some are going to say it's 25 that's fine i really don't care uh, whether it's 20 or 25 degrees 25 makes it a little bit stronger cutting edge but not as sharp all right, and uh, 25 makes it uh, less sharp, okay? 20 makes it sharper, but not quite as strong, all right? So you decide what you want to do. Be just like that. See, I don't really, my, my thumb is actually uh, probably three-eighths of an inch from the thumb to the cutting edge right there, all right? I don't squeeze it real hard. I don't put my finger up here like this. You would never hold it like this. You're going to get cut, and it's not going to work right. So just like that, just like this. Just like that, it's actually pretty flexible in my fingers. I don't come up here like that. Don't try to get the bulk of my thumb on here. I don't squeeze it hard. The reason you don't squeeze the sharpener's hard is because you're only going to use about a quarter to maybe a half an ounce of pressure. If it was really dull, I would set it down, and I would put about two ounces of pressure on it to hurry up the cutting process so I can get my knife sharper faster. Just like that. Just like this. Come right on around. And then I go real light because right now I'm just polishing the wire edge off the blade. There's a little micro burr that will develop on a knife as you sharpen it when it gets really, really sharp. What you're really doing is you're actually dragging the metal out there a little bit. Now I'm cutting it off. I'm polishing the blade. So let's see what we have for sharp on this knife. Okay. You got to admit, that's pretty sharp. If you can go in and cut radiuses, <laughs> and even a really sharp knife will fight with you just a little bit. But if you see this, you'll see it is sharp. Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. That's an up-close uh, and talkative personal tutorial with the round sharpener, sharpensbest.com. There's six models. That's where you go, sharpensbest.com, to find the very best sharpener on earth. This is Brad. Take care.